Jeffrey makes fun of you for wanting to go to the gym. That's stupid. Why don't you just come online and play League of Legends in Valorant with us? The gym's gay. That's weird. It's time to answer the most important question of your life. Do you want to be more like Jeffrey? Yes or no? You made a wise choice. Welcome to the House of Games. I wanted to start going to the gym in high school, years before I actually started going consistently. But honestly, I was too shy. I was scared of going to the gym by myself, and so I would only go when one of my friends would come with me. I would enter the gym, and I would feel like everyone had just stopped their workout just to stare at me. The truth is that no one actually cared. But in my mind, I thought I was the center of attention because I was the beginner. I was the guy who couldn't lift any real weight. I wish I could go back in time and teach younger Hamza what you're gonna learn in this video. Oh, Adonis goes to the gym, Greek body. The gym goes to Adonis. <laughs> Adonis. Adonis is like the huge guy at the gym who helps the beginners. He lifts incredible weight, but he never makes those weird noises that some guys do. <laughs> He's always there when you need a spot and a pat on the back for the accomplishments that you hit in the gym. Because Adonis remembers what it was like when he started the gym. If you want to start going to the gym, right now you might be pissed off at the advice that you're hearing from everyone, which is just start, bro. Just start. The thing is, when you do go to the gym and you do get consistent, you'll realize the best advice you could have gotten was just start, bro. Just start. Every single insecurity that you have in your mind right now and they are insecurities and every excuse that you have in your mind and they are excuses are invalid every single one of us who have gotten consistent in our training have experienced the same thoughts as you and those thoughts will cripple your dreams of becoming a sick and we can't let that happen. You're about to embark on what may be one of the most important habits of the rest of your life. Almost every guy who gets consistent in the gym says that this is like the, the most important thing, the best thing that he's done. The issue is that your Jeffrey brain, your lizard brain will convince you otherwise and it will keep processing so many random thoughts. If you stay sedimentary, if you don't take action, if you don't put one foot in front of the other, your Jeffrey brain will cripple you. It's the same when you want to approach a girl. If you do what you're doing right now, which is to sit and to, to contemplate it and to get all the details first, you'll never go and approach her. The guys who got consistent in going to the gym and also the guys who get consistent in going up and speaking to new girls are the ones who just start f***ing walking towards them, one foot in front of the other. Because I could wrestle with your Jeffrey brain right now. Every thought that I think that you could be having, I could logically break it down and tell you that it's an excuse and you know it's invalid. That wouldn't help. You've probably experienced this. As soon as you got rid of one problem in terms of going to the gym, another one popped up. Oh, but it, logistics, the price of the membership and oh, the, the, the workout program, and I'll go after the new years and you know, it's already January 10th now like and so the mindset that you need right now is to specifically start going to the gym even though you are having these thoughts these thoughts these excuses these insecurities do not need to be defeated for you to start going to the gym you can go to the gym you can buy the membership whilst you still have these thoughts in your mind that's what you're gonna have to do you have to do the hard work especially when you don't feel like it and this is literally just your Jeffrey brain trying to convince you not to go and do the hard work you cannot let Jeffrey win you hear these thoughts and you go and do that work anyway because you objectively know with 100% certainty that this is a good thing that you're doing. There is no doubt in your mind about that but it's those finer details like oh but you don't know what workout routine to do and, you, and the protein and the mother says that weightlifting stunts my growth. Your mother's wrong bro. Give me a number I'll speak to her. <laughs> and so we have to go back to the standard advice. Just start. Do the hard work especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.